Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another short Brexit update. It seems that there was not a lot of progress regarding UK proposals to the EU, although Boris Johnson said that they are making progress and they are negotiating. But this Thursday, the President of the European Parliament, David Sassoli, um, gave a press conference. He was asked about progress and about the proposals. And David Sassoli said there are still no proposals from the UK to the EU for any negotiations. And it seems quite honest because on the same day in an interview Michel Barnier, the chief negotiator for the EU, said that they didn't receive any proposals. As far as you can hear from the EU, all that Mr. Frost, the chief negotiator for Boris Johnson, is doing in Brussels is to try to um, erase the backstop and some other points from the withdrawal agreement without replacing them. So, as we had it before, the Johnson government didn't give any alternative for the backstop although the EU always said it's needed. Um, if the backstop has to go, there has to be a replacement. And um, as was mentioned before uh, by Leo Veratka, it has to be um, effective, it has to be as effective as the backstop, it has to be binding, and it just has to work. And so there's still nothing. So if Boris Johnson is saying that they are negotiating, that just means they're trying to strike some things out of the withdrawal agreement. But they're not bringing any new proposals. And even after my last video to this topic, some time has passed and nothing has changed except that Mr. Frost wants to cut things out of the withdrawal agreement. So how should another deal work? Does Boris Johnson wait until the 17th of October when he's sitting on the 17th and 18th in the European Council with the other heads of governments and heads of states? I don't know. But whenever Boris Johnson is saying now they are negotiating, well that's true to the part that they are trying to cut stuff out of the withdrawal agreement, but they're not bringing any new proposals. And if I want a deal and I know from the EU that they want new proposals to replace old parts of the agreement and I explained before it's not even directly replacing them on the paper it's more about the backstop is not needed if we put something else in place before the backstop would even be uh, started at, um, after Brexit. So and I must say David Sassoli and Michel Barnier are reliable resources and reliable sources when they give information like this, because especially Michel Barnier is uh, absolutely close to the negotiations and I guess the President of the Europa uh, European Parliament should be informed about what's going on as well. And nevertheless, I know he's not very much liked in the UK, but Guy Verhofstadt, who is one of the responsible MEPs in the European Union steering group for Brexit, he also said a few days ago that there are no proposals. So perhaps you can answer to me how a new deal should work if the UK is not making any proposals. I only know that uh, David Sassoli said now if no deal happens it's uh, absolutely the responsibility of the UK because they didn't make any new proposals. I must say I have to agree with that. If Boris Johnson says he wants a deal, he wants a different deal than the one on the table, he has to deliver. He can't expect the EU to rethink their point of view and just deliver something to him. If he wants changes, he has to deliver and he didn't. So you can um, argument now that I'm taking sides here, but I'm stating facts at this moment and uh, I'm, that really brings a lot of questions to me. So if you have better answers to this than I can find out of this, um, please leave it in the comments. I would be quite interested to hear that. But for now, it was just supposed to be a quick update because 
of the press conference that was quite important. I just want to thank you for watching. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel so you will be informed when my next Brexit video will come out. Tomorrow, if I manage to do this on, on uh, Saturday <laughs> to publish this video, um, there will be a new series called EU Explained um, I want to bring to you because many people who are arguing about Brexit and the EU um, don't have a lot of information about the EU and I thought I'd just get started with some basics and build up on that in, in the weeks to come and I'm starting with that on Sunday. For now I just want to thank you again for watching, have a nice day and see you soon.